Abramovich gives Putin handwritten Ukraine note but gets chilling response. Chelsea owner Roman Abramovich is supposedly acting as an unofficial peacemaker between Ukraine and Russia but was dismissed after handing Vladimir Putin a handwritten note. Abramovich has been traveling between Istanbul, Moscow, and Kiev, which remains under siege, to reportedly hand messages between Vladimir Putin and Volodymyr Zelensky. In one exchange, it is reported the oligarch received a handwritten note from Ukrainian President Zelensky, who has won favor around the world for his handling of the crisis. The note apparently detailed Ukraine's peace terms. But upon delivering the handwritten note to Putin, whom the UK government alleges he has had a close relationship for decades with, the despotic nutjob reportedly did not react well. According to the Times, the Russian president said to Abramovich, tell him I will thrash them. The 55-year-old then returned to Istanbul and linked up with Ukrainian politician Rustam Yumarov, who is believed to acting as Kiev's negotiator. The pair met at five-star hotels in the Turkish capital of Ankara, having been organized by President Erdogan's spokesman Ibrahim Kalin. The talks appear to be making some progress, although it is unclear just how influential Abramovich has been in negotiations. Abramovich has been trying to salvage what is left of his reputation, which was left in tatters after the government slapped him with sanctions over his alleged ties to Putin. Abramovich has always denied a close relationship with the Russian president. Do you think the UK government went far enough in sanctioning Abramovich? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. The billionaire, who is worth just under pound six billion, had his assets frozen across Britain and the EU and began a fire sale of said assets, including his London properties and Chelsea Football Club. He announced at the start of the month that the West Londoners would be put up for sale. That process was briefly paused after the government hit him with sanctions. But it is now back underway with four groups in the running to take over the Premier League club. While the Blues and his property may be up for sale, his yachts and jets, which are worth into the hundreds of millions of pounds, look set to remain in his ownership. That is because they are out of bounds as they are not stationed in waters and airspace, where he is currently the subject of sanctions.